And now I'd like to introduce you to someone else that I learned things from. And she is a very, very impressive young woman. You'll see what I mean when I, when I say fabulous, these fabulous women that we serve, because you will see she is fabulous. Um, she is a young woman and mother who graduated from our Woman to Woman program last spring. And as you'll hear, her personal journey is deeply rooted in her own commitment to her community. Ladies and gentlemen, Masika Gadsden. Good evening, everyone. Thank you, Beth. I'm honored to be here tonight. As Beth mentioned, I am a single mother of a 12-year-old boy. For most of his life, I worked for a nonprofit at, um, service for children. In 2009, I was laid off, something I never thought would happen to me. I became very depressed and lost my confidence. I love working with children and families, and I missed it. I had always been the one uplifting people. Now I was the one on the other end, and it was scary. One day, I saw an advertisement for Women to Women. I called and learned about the program and about all the people I would be connected to, a computer instructor, a career counselor, an academic advisor, and a case manager. I knew I needed all that help. I had a lot of supportive friends and from my old job, I even knew the resources that are available. But at that time, I needed someone to tell me what to do. I needed someone to build my courage back up. Once I started, I found out I needed the program in other ways too. My computer skills had gone stale at my old job. I knew nothing about Microsoft Office. I took workshops in financial literacy, organizational skills, and I learned how to write a resume and a cover letter and I practice interviewing. At Women to Women, every staff member takes interest in you. Because of that, they all knew my dreams was to return to work with children, particularly in my own community. It's my life's ambition to help young people in my community believe that they can strive for something better than hanging on a corner. I want them to believe that they can achieve what their parents couldn't, what their cousins didn't, and what their friends down the street don't know how. I want them to believe that they can achieve. Everyone at CWU believes you can achieve too. A couple of weeks before the end of the program, Supervisor Beth Hopper found a job that she thought would fit me perfect. It involved helping girls 10 to 14 years old in Dorchester gain self-esteem through outdoor sports and shared learning. I thought it was perfect for me too. My career counselor, Mary, Marilyn Glazer Weiser, guided me through the application process and I am proud to stand here today as the program manager of Girls Outdoor Adventure Leaders. As I think about losing my job, it reminds me of a lesson my grandmother taught me. When one door closes, it, another will open. It's a good feeling to know that CWU will always have the door open for me. 